Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Jazz from Life Pad Doc. I'm a board certified pathologist and on this channel you will see some skincare related videos and some product reviews. So this is my first YouTube video and we are going to start with a product review. We will talk about IV sunscreens. We will specifically talk about IV Daily Defense Face Most SPF 50 and then compare it to IV Kids version. So what attracted me to IV sunscreens was their unique texture. So they don't come out as a cream or a lotion but rather as a mousse. In addition, they use a special patent uh, with which the sunscreen doesn't just sit on the top of the skin but rather spreads throughout the top layer of the skin. This way it carries the active ingredients deeper into the skin and it protects them from oxidation and they are able to use a lower concentration of UV filters as compared to other sunscreens. So as per the IV team, the total percentage of UV filters range from 9 to 14% in their sunscreens depending whether it's SPF 50 or it's SPF 30. In addition to that, uh, the percentage of octocrylin is 4 to 5% in all the sunscreens. The brand has performed some tests on these sunscreens and these sunscreens tend to last longer on the skin as compared to some other traditional sunscreens. Um, however, you know, these tests were done on very few individuals. So I would still reapply my sunscreen every two hours if I was out in direct sunlight. So the brand has different types of sunscreens. Uh, one is kids version, uh, the second is extra water resistant version for adults, those are blue bottles with orange caps and then there are sunscreens for daily wear, these are beige bottles with white caps. So first I'm gonna talk about IV Daily Defense Face Mousse SPF 50. This comes in a beige bottle, uh, it's a aluminium aerosol bottle which can be recycled. Uh, it's 75 ml, it has a UVA circle seal and it also has a PA rating of 4 plus. In the whole range, this is the only sunscreen so far with a PA rating. So let's take a quick look at the ingredients. So this sunscreen has a total of 5 UV filters. The first is octocrylene, the second is butyl methoxy dibenzoyl methane which is avobenzone Third is diethyl amino hydroxybenzoyl hexyl benzoate, which is uvinol A. Fourth is bis ethyl hexyl oxyphenol methoxyphenyl triazine, which is tinozob S. And lastly, it's ethyl hexyl triazone, which is uvinol T150. So, this sunscreen is free of added fragrance, dyes, or silicones. It has an ingredient uh, called tetrasodium glutamate diacetate, which, as per the brand, makes it less likely to stain clothes. It has another ingredient, bis-cyanobutyl acetate anthracene dilidine. This is mica. So this is different from the mica which you see in a lot of highlighters or tinted products. Uh, this is an ingredient which can prevent the formation of free radicals in our skin. However, we do not have a lot of data and research on how good it works on the skin. So I would not rely on brands claim that it can protect our skin from high energy visible light. Now let me show you a graph which shows how these different UV filters can protect our skin. So Uvinol T150 can protect our skin from UVB rays. Uvinol A plus can protect our skin from UVA1 and UVA2 rays. Tinosorb S is a broad spectrum filter and can protect our skin from both UVA and UVB rays. Avobenzone can give a very good protection from UVA rays. And lastly, octocrylene can give us protection from UVB and UVA2 rays. So overall, this sunscreen can provide a pretty broad spectrum protection from UV rays. Let's now move and see how to use this sunscreen. So give a good shake to the bottle and turn it upside down and take out around golf size of the mousse. That will be enough for your face and neck. Then rub it in between your fingers and it will turn into a light lotion. And as you apply it on your skin, it absorbs almost instantly. Um, it gives a natural finish which is non-sticky. I had read some reviews uh, saying that this sunscreen feels sticky and I think a lot depends on the climate you are living in and how many layers of other products you have underneath your sunscreen. So I usually don't use more than two layers under my sunscreen otherwise the sunscreen uh, layer kind of feels heavy for me. If it's hot or humid I skip everything else and just use my sunscreen. 
So let me now show you how this sunscreen looks on my skin. So in this picture, I have sunscreen on one half of my face and you can see that half looks moisturized, uh, a little bit shiny, but it feels weightless. So let's now briefly talk about IV Kids sunscreens. So I have used both the SPF 30 version and the SPF 50 version. And in my opinion, there is hardly any difference uh, in the texture and the finish of both these sunscreens. Both these sunscreens are labeled as extra water resistant. So let's take a look at the ingredients. So as you can see at the UV filters in this sunscreen, they are exactly the same as in Daily Defense Face Mousse. Other than that, it does not have any antioxidants or other fancy ingredients. So let's see how to use this sunscreen. So just like the other sunscreen, give a good shake to the bottle and turn it upside down. Get a golf size of a mousse for your face and neck. You can rub it between your fingers and it will turn into a lotion. Comparing it to the Daily Defense face mousse, the mousse is a little bit dense and it turns into a little bit of a thicker lotion. However, it still absorbs pretty fast on my skin. And again, the finish is natural. So now let me show you a picture where I have both these sunscreen on my face. On one half, I have IV Kids SPF 50 version. And on the other half, I have IV Daily Defense Face Mousse SPF 50. So you can see they both kind of look same. Uh, it looks as if I have a moisturizer on my face. In addition, both these sunscreens come off easily with my water-based cleansers, so I don't have to be very aggressive to take this off. The main difference between these two sunscreens is the amount you get for the price. So the Daily Defense comes in 75 ml packaging and the Kids version comes in 150 ml packaging. However, the price is the same, so you get double the amount in the same price. So the kids version is a lot more affordable as compared to the daily defense. So where to buy these sunscreens? So there are three places I know of. The first one is cultbeauty.com. I think this place has the best price for these sunscreens. The second is 50ml.com. The prices are a little bit higher and it also has a higher shipping cost. Then the third is ifsogo.com. In here, you will have to buy at least uh, six cans for it to be shipped. Please comment below if you know of any other vendors we can buy these sunscreens from. So overall, I think these are really good sunscreens which provide solid protection from UV rays. I never had any irritation or burning from using these sunscreens. I also never had any issue with tearing of my eyes. However, be cautious, it has avobenzone and octocrylin which can cause stinging in some people. The price is a bit steep. However, if you get the kids version, it's pretty affordable. And you know, as they say, the best sunscreen is the one which you will use every day. So for me, this is that sunscreen. So I don't mind paying the price. So this is all for this sunscreen. You can also read the detailed written version on my blog if you're interested. If you have used this sunscreen, please comment below how was your experience. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Stay connected by subscribing. Thanks for watching.